According to DefenseNews.com, the United States is the world's largest armed power and it's approved its $686 billion military budget for 2019. In the future, the nation will spend a good part of the money raising its battle squadrons from 55 to 58, purchasing 10 new naval ships, and raising its manpower by 25.9 thousand. Furthermore, it'll spend $66.8 billion on mission support operations, $55.2 billion on aircraft and associated services, $33.1 billion on shipbuilding and naval equipment, and $20.7 billion on missiles and ammunitions. $30 billion has been allocated to 15 KC-46 tanker replacements to reinforce the US Air Force. On the economic and military front, China has emerged as a significant competitor to the US. The nation plans to increase its spending on defense by 8.1% in 2018, and will spend $175 billion to modernize the armed forces, reports CNN.com. Most of the budget increase would be spent on improving troop living standards, enhancing service member health, and updating equipment. The nation has significantly enhanced its military capabilities with the goal of presenting itself as a rising global force. There is no question that the greater military spending by the United States has allowed it to operate the world's best air force. Take a closer look at America's top 10 most expensive military aircraft that help the nation show its superior air power in every corner of the world. Number 10. F-A-18 Hornet, $94 million The Hornet is reported to be the first attack fighter in America. It is a mixture of a combatant and a bomber. These can also attack both airborne and ground objectives and, if need arises, can be used in air combat. The Hornet helped the US secure first fight in the early 1990s over Desert Storm. Many nations with Air Force use the Hornets including Switzerland, Kuwait, Israel, France, and Canada. At 40,000 feet, the Hornet will reach Mach 1.8, or 1,190 miles per hour. It can carry a range of missiles and bombs including air-to-ground and air to air as well as the Vulcan Cannon M61 20mm. The two turbofan engines of the fighter's GE F404 give it a high thrust to weight ratio, and the plane has aerodynamic characteristics of the highest quality. This is used mainly for aerial identification, close air support, destruction of enemy air defenses, fleet air defense, and fighter escort. On the flip side, compared with an earlier F14 Tomcat, the LTV A7 Corsair II, and A6 Intruder, the Hornet lags behind in payload and size. This fighter offers the basic template for the FA-18EF Super Hornet, which is larger and stronger. Number 9. EA-18G Growler, $102 million The EA-18G Growler is an upgrade on the Super Hornet aircraft. It has all the features of the Super Hornet, but it's lightly armed and not designed for dangerous excursions to the surface. The Growler hosts equipment for radar jamming that interferes with enemy radar systems and disrupts their communications. In 2009, the plane was transferred to the US Navy. In 2017, Australia inducted 12 Growlers into its Air Force. Number 8. V-22 Osprey, $118 million The Osprey's highlight is its tritroder technology, which allows it to act both as a plane and a helicopter. This invention allows the aircraft to take off and land like a helicopter while maintaining aircraft range and speed. The benefits are reducing the time that you need to fly so you don't need a landing strip. US Vice President Dick Cheney, however, ended production of the Osprey after 30 people were killed in an incident involving the helicopter. But the plane continues to be used today because of its flexibility. When it was forced into medevac and transportation operations in Afghanistan, Iraq, Kuwait, and Libya, it received rave reviews. The development program for this aircraft began in 1981, and testing began for 1989. It took a lot of years of growth to get the tri concept right. Throughout 2007, the U.S. Marine Corps purchased the Osprey, and in 2009, the U.S. Air Force. Number 7. F-35 Lightning II cost $122 million. The F-35 Lightning II program cost a total of $345 billion making it one of the most costly development schemes in the history of aeronautics. This fighter jet features camouflage and is fitted with top-rate weaponry and endurance to make it a top weapon in aerial dogfights. Another notable argument is that the aircraft is one of the first fighter jets able to handle vertical takeoff. The F-35 Lightning II is a single-engine, single-seat stealth bomber with all-weather conditions. This is capable of conducting ground attack and air superiority flights. The F-35 is based on the X-35, which won the Joint Strike Fighter Program Design Award. The aircraft is manufactured by an aerospace team comprising of Lockheed Martin, BAA Systems, Pratt & Whitney, and Northrop Grumman. The US is preparing to purchase 2,663 units of this plane to reinforce its military and Air Force. The US military F-35 deliveries are planned until 2037, and service life is projected to continue until 2070. Number 6. E-2D Advanced Hawkeye, $232 million 
Equipped with top-class radar and communications hardware, the Advanced Hawkeye is an upgrade over its predecessor, the E-2C Hawkeye. This version of Reconnaissance Plane is not yet operational. It is a carrier-capable, all-weather, tactical, airborne, early warning airplane. The E-2 was dubbed Super FUD because of its special turboprop engine tone, which is distinct from that of the turbofan and turbojet engines. It took the place of the E-1 Tracer, Willy FUD, and the Hummer, in addition to the US, and E-2s are used by Taiwan, Singapore, Mexico, Japan, Israel, France, and Egypt's military. Number 5. VH-71 Kestrel $241 million. The Kestrel was designed to replace the helicopter fleet of the United States, yet President Barack Obama felt differently and stopped manufacturing and ordered the funds to be used to keep his old chopper fleet running. He made this request because of the cost of production at Kestrel had reached unprecedented heights and surpassed the budget of the White House. A consortium that consisted of Lockheed Martin Systems Integration, Owego, Bell Helicopter, and Augusta Westland developed the Kestrel. However, the development program was plagued by technical limitations cost overruns and delays that Lockheed attributed to new and unanticipated improvements that the U.S. government requested. The U.S. Navy canceled the deal in 2009 after receiving nine VH-71s. These choppers were sold to Canada for $164 million, which used it as a source of spare parts for its squadron of CH-149 Comorant helicopters in Augusta Westland. Number 4. P-8A Poseidon Cost $290 million The U.S. Navy's P-8A Poseidon is an improved variant of Boeing 737-800ERX. The civilian aircraft was converted into a naval craft armed with depth changes, torpedoes, and anti-ship missiles. This gives the aircraft a distinct advantage in maritime conflicts with enemy submarines as it can rain death from above. The Poseidon is capable of carrying out electronic support initiatives such as self-protection early warning, vessel interdiction, anti-surface warfare, and anti-submarine warfare. The plane can also drop down and track sonobuoys. In addition to the US Navy, the P-8 is used by the Indian Navy and the Australian, British, and Norwegian Air Forces. Number 3. C-17A Globemaster III $328 million Globemaster III is one of the world's best military transportation aircraft because it can carry troops, combat supplies, and vehicles across the globe. The aircraft can carry and drop 102 fully equipped warfighters behind enemy lines, and can drop equipment such as Humvees and tanks as well. This plane thus gives a huge advantage in the US military in conflicts involving ground operations. In the 1980s and 1990s, McDonnell Douglas produced the Globe Master III transport aircraft. After its merger with McDonnell Douglas in 1997, Boeing kept manufacturing. This plane is also used by the armies of Kuwait, India, NATO, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Canada, Australia, and the UK in addition to the US. The final C-17 was manufactured in 2015 at the plant in Long Beach, California. Number 2. F-22 Raptor $350 million Considered to be one of the best fighter planes in the world, the Raptor was designed to counter the advanced SU flanker and MIG fulcrum aircraft from Russia. The production started in the 1980s to meet pressure from Russia during the Cold War. Once the danger passed, production was suspended and the US military was equipped with a minimum of 187 Raptors. The Raptor is an aircraft built for US Air Force in the stealth all-weather twin-engine single-seat fifth generation. This boasts the capabilities of single intelligence, electronic warfare, and ground attack, and is primarily used as an air superiority fighter. Lockheed Keith Martin designed the aircraft's weapon systems and airframe, while Boeing supplied the training equipment, integration with avionics, aft fuselage, and wings. Combining situational awareness, aerodynamic precision, and stealth capabilities, the Raptor makes it a top weapon in aerial combat. Nonetheless, problems such as the introduction of updated F-35s, export ban, lack of missions due to delays in Chinese and Russian fighter programs, and prohibited costs resulted in F-22 programs being halted. Number 1. B-2 Spirit $737 million The B-2 Spirit stealth plane is heading up our list of America's top 10 most expensive military jets. This fighter jet resembles an alien spacecraft in design and can withstand radar, visual, electromagnet, and infrared signals to penetrate deep into the enemy area without accurately detecting and dropping bombs on targets. Originally designed to carry nuclear warheads, it was later modified to carry other types of missiles as well. The B-2 Spirit development plan cost a total of four $45 billion, and the U.S. military produced 21 units. The high cost is worth it, though, as the aircraft's large payload capacity, aerodynamic performance, stealth technology, and advanced avionic radar systems make it a unique and lethal fighter, which has become a valuable asset to the U.S. Air Force. In 1997, each B-2 Spirit plane cost $2.1 billion to add up the cost of engineering, production, and testing. One of the 21 units was lost in a 2008 accident, and the U.S. Air Force plans to use the remaining 20 until 
2032. The B-2 was first used to drop conventional ordnance during the Kosovo War in 1999, and was subsequently passed into service in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Libya.